So as many of you know, at the end of the latest Flash episode, which is episode 17 known as Tricksters, uh, when that episode aired and when it ended, they showed the trailer for the next few episodes, the last six episodes that they're going to have for this season. And since that trailer has been uploaded, there's been WonderCon, and the CW decided to release two more trailers. Um, now these two trailers don't have like different content, it's just like they add on to like some of the stuff to some certain scenes. Like they showed off a little bit more of Emily Kinney's character from The Walking Dead, where in The Flash she plays a villain known as the Bug Eye Bandit. And they gave us a little bit more info about uh, a new villain that we'll get into. Anyway, this video is going to be a breakdown of that first trailer that we saw. It's known as The Future Revealed. I'll link the the trailer in the description so you guys can check it out. I'm not going to put it in here because I don't want to get copyright strike, but I will post the stills from the trailer as I quote the words that come out. Actually, on second, I'm not going to actually say the words. It's better if you just watch it because it's only a minute. And then you can come back and hear my thoughts. But I do have stills for like screenshots from the trailer so I can share my thoughts on opinions on with you guys. I should also mention the episodes for the last six episodes have been announced. Well, announced, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, episode 18, we, we've been doing this for a while. It's when the Adam Ray Palmer from Arrow comes over to Central City uh, with Felicity. And that episode is called All-Star Team-Up. Episode 19 is known as Who is Harrison Wells? Episode 20 is known as The Trap. Episode 21 is known as Grodd Lives, and episode 22 is known as Rogue Air, and lastly, episode 23 is known as Fast Enough. And I like how, like, straight off the bat of the trailer, they start with um, Joe saying, we need your help, and it shows both the Flash, the Arrow, but it's Oliver in the League of Assassins outfit, which is probably the most crucial thing, and Firestorm. Now what Joe says, he says, I need your help. But I don't think it's like directly to Firestorm and to the Arrow. I think it's more or less to Quentin Lance and Laurel Lance because in one of the episodes of Arrow, I believe, actually it could be an episode of The Flash, but they go over to, Cent to Star City, to Starling City, to ask for Captain Lance's help w with a, a case. I believe it's Barry's mom's case. I remember how earlier I just mentioned that episode 18 is when the Adam comes over. Right off the bat, we see Ray come flying in, smash into the ground, and take takes off his Adam helmet. He's like, hi, I'm Ray. And thing is, Felicity is already with Team Flash, so I feel like she was like, oh yeah, uh, Ray told us to meet here. And then he makes his appearance. Right after that, we have a scene between Laurel and Cisco, which she says, I know Barry's the Flash, I'm the Black Canary, and then Cisco's like, I love you. So not only is this scene supposed to be funny, because you know, Cisco's kind of comic relief, but it's been announced that Laurel is going to ask Cisco to help her with her canary cry, you know, the little, that's what the Black Canary is known for, her canary cry. So I'm going to assume that he, Cisco is going to make like a collar sort of thing or... Because I, I think the writers and creators said that it's going to be more towards Laurel's, like, the Black Canary's roots from the comics. And unlike what Sarah had, she had those little, like, like speaker things that did the Canary Cry. So I'm assuming Cisco is going to make her, like, a collar where she can, like, press on it. Or, like, an act it will be, like, the voice modifier that Arrow has and be like, ah, Canary Cry. In the shot right after that, we see Captain Cold and I believe it's Heat Wave walking with Cisco and Caitlyn towards a truck or towards somewhere so it looks like they get captured and going off the trailer it looks like it's Rainbow Rider slash Prism I forgot which I believe Caitlyn gave him the name of Rainbow Rider while Cisco gave him the name as Prism anyway other than that there's next to him there's the Weather Wizard and Mist and I believe this is episode 22 when it's known as Rogue Air when it essentially it looks like all the rogues are get out of jail because you know and bad things are going to happen to the Flash, or so I assume, because this is the penultimate episode, the second to last, so I'm assuming big things are going to happen. Right after that scene, we see Joe in the sewers, and you hear Grodd saying, no help here. And there, in the other trailers that were released, I believe it's the WonderCon trailer, you see Grodd break through a wall, and you see Barry with a gun, and I believe two other people pointing it at something. So I'm assuming that's where that comes from, and this might be from episode 21, known as Grodd Lives. And right after that shot, we have Cisco putting on some vibish glasses, saying, 
This is mad freaky, dude. Now, does this have to do anything with Cisco's comic book character where he becomes a superhero known as the Vibe? I don't think so. It's just that I feel like the glasses that he's putting on are, is just like like VR goggles where he is essentially like jumping to add other realities or other timelines and I'll get into it because once we see another shot it makes more sense. Right after that we see Joe, Cisco, and Quentin Lance from the Arrow or from Starling City digging up a body. Like not putting a body in but like digging up a body that they found which uh, they say and we see a skull in there and they say whoever knows about this is in grave danger and that's Joe saying that to Quentin and I feel like it might be Tom Tom Cavanaugh's character the original Harrison Wells body because we don't know what happens to it afterwards and then right after that we see Barry is in the reverse flash lair or like other people on the internet are calling it the bubble room and actually in the one of the WonderCon trailers we see both not only Barry but we also see Caitlin and Cisco and Cisco says what the frack because you know they can't swear because it's on the CW so it looks like they are they are all going to stumble upon Harrison Wells' layers or Eobar Thon's layers and then once again we see another shot of Cisco and Harrison Wells standing up and he says hello there Cisco now there are two possibilities to this scene it could be there be a that it's a different timeline that Cisco is just jumping into and he sees his death like from the other timeline from episode whatever 15 it was or it could be from uh it could be like in the exact same time that they're in and Cisco might die again because thing is Harrison Wells is in a different outfit than the one he was back in episode 15 when he kills Cisco then we see a blue general eiling uh let's just, i i think i might know where this is going but i'm gonna wait until we see another screenshot before i elaborate on it then we see eddie shooting two cops and we think eddie goes bad which again there's another screenshot i want to talk about before and then we'll dive into what happens in the eddie screenshot and then the next shot is a good zoomed out shot of our three heroes you know as firestorm the flash and the arrow in the league of assassins attire facing off it looks like against the reverse flash then we see a scene of Barry beating up another flash which again there's another screenshot and we'll get into it uh, that is gonna elaborate on this scene then we see Emily Kinney's character as the bug-eyed bandit and in one in the WonderCon trailer they elaborate more on her character because she actually has dialogue in that trailer saying that I'm the queen bee of this hive I'm gonna show you what it's really like to be stung and then right after that it transitioned to Cisco saying it just had to be bees. So I don't know, This they might be hinting towards Hive because Hive is going to be the antagonist for season 4. So it might be like a segue into that. And then we see this masked character, which I don't know who that is. I think it just might be like an armored, like, just like tanky army dude. Uh, but I really don't know who this guy is. And here it is, the character I've been waiting for. And you see that it's a, per it's a metahuman with a very uh, dissolved face. And this... Everyone has been confirming that this, not confirming, but saying that this is the villain known as Everyman. Now, Everyman has the powers to essentially turn into somebody else, but he needs physical contact or something of theirs, like their hair or like a nail, like their nail uh, thing. So, like, he needs physical contact with them, like, to be able to, like, to get their genetic makeup and transform into them. And there's a scene in the WonderCon trailer where you see... Caitlyn kissing Barry or vice versa and I'm assuming this is uh, every man being Caitlyn so that he can transform into the Flash thus making the scene the Flash beating up the Flash make more sense and also in the WonderCon trailer there's a scene where you see the Flash beat up Eddie real quick and I believe that's also the every man because you see it's the exact same scene it's just transition from Eddie to another scene and then back to that scene but it's the Flash so I believe when we see Eddie kill two cops, I believe that's every man just being Eddie. And the lastly, the general island where we see he's all blue. That might be every man as well, but that one I'm not completely sure on. But when we see Eddie going bad and the Flash being up the Flash, that is every man. Also, when we see Barry kissing Caitlyn, that as well. Next shot, I love this shot. It's uh, Oliver getting ready to shoot an arrow towards the reverse Flash. And then we see the Adam flying through the sky. And then we see the reverse Flash holding down Oliver and vibrating his hand, his fapping hand to looks like going to stab uh, Ollie in the chest and kill him. Hopefully so Firestorm helps out because you know that's his cousin in real life which was really cool. And then lastly we see Barry catching a bullet 
And that's about it. So that was the one minute trailer broken down for you guys. Uh, I tried to include stuff from the WonderCon trailer as, as well and gave you my thoughts, hopefully. So it looks like episode 22 is going to be the big like shebang when all the rogues break out and all, everyone against all the rogues against the Flash, it seems like. And this trailer looks really cool. I mean, it spoils some stuff, but it's not too bad. I mean, like, I wasn't expecting to release the other trailers, which spoils a lot as well. But, like I said, it's not too bad. They, we don't know everything. We don't know how Harrison is going to be caught. Because there's a certain shot where we see Harrison being in one of the prisoner cells that they made at Star Labs. Anyway, not only was the WonderCon trailer for The Flash released, they also announced a few things. That being Mirror Master is going to make an appearance in Season 2. If you don't know who that is, that's one of the more or less iconic Flash villains. He uses mirrors. Uh, and not only that, that we're going to see Killer Frost a lot sooner than we think. But does that mean Caitlyn's going to go rogue? Who knows? Anyway, I do apologize. My camera ran out of battery. This is what I get for recording five videos straight and forgetting to charge it. Uh, so I do apologize for this like unprofessional background and me sitting down and all of this stuff. Uh, but that, those were my thoughts of the Flash Future Review trailer. Like I said, it's in the description. It's only a minute long if you guys want to check it out and see what it makes sense but I'm assuming you guys already saw it but besides from that I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did leave a like down below if it, the video deserves it subscribe to my channel if I interchange your faces for a little while and besides from that you can click here to see the last my last flash review or you click here to see my last arrow review like I said I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys all next time for the Flash episode 18 re review and episode 19 of Arrow. So until then, bye. Oh, one quick thing. If you guys want me to break down the Arrow review, I will do that too. But I'm assuming uh, no one watches the Arrow according to the views, according to the numbers I see. So I doubt it. Anyway, if you do want me to break it down, let me know down in the comments below. Now, officially, bye. Hope you guys stay safe.